Good morning guys. I hope you're all staying safe and doing well and not got none of this Covid stuff. Um, I'm not going to harp on about it. It's terrible, terrible times that we're living in at the moment. Uh, just got to do what the government says and stop in if you can. Not much cop for camping or going out really but uh, it's just not worth going out for and mixing with people at all. Even with a mask on, I wouldn't mix with people. So, anyhow, that's not what videos. What videos about? Anyhow, but like I said, stay safe. Um, as you can see by the title of this video, uh, we've lost Camp Baza. Uh, how it come about? Well, we're clearing top because there were two parts to Camp Baza. There were bottom bit where we used to do all this hammock camping, tenting, and things like that, and where we had us toilet this kitchen and all oh, we did all this, everything down there but it did get too sludgy to go down this time of year in winter time so the top bit that I used to have for me chickens and goats and ducks and everything like that it's an all overgrown so we all decided that what we do obviously most as well 95% of us are in vans anyhow now so we thought we'd get it all chopped back uh, all brambles move all brambles out of way and just make a you know four or five spaces for vans and uh, so we set about it all us other lads like that was the lads uh, getting it all cleared getting it all right down and uh, obviously we was working up there we were stopping up there we were camping up there it's only like two miles from where I live uh, but like Mike come down uh, Wandering Dog uh, Billy Billy the App come down uh, a few other lads Mark and all that lot and uh, so we started cleaning it all out, like getting a, doing a cracking job and got it all down at the bottom end, it was grassed so we just you know, cut strim that down, that was fine for tents and uh, um, and now when we all packed up, Mike stopped there for a couple of months because he might as well, you know what I mean, he kept doing a little bit and things and clearing a little bit and uh, when he went away, went back home should I say, I uh, didn't go up for about a fortnight and I got some old uh, doors to put down on this square bit what we've cut out to, to keep nettles down and grass down and to be fine So I went to set these up and big massive padlock on gate And I thought all right, she's playing her games again. So I went to see Tom Farmer and uh, I says have you put padlock on gate? So he went yep So I says wow what's up like? So he says you're turning it into a campsite But he already knew we camped at bottom end But uh, uh, anyhow that's basically it that way ender it like he's chucked us off uh, I said to him I says all we'll be doing up there so we're clearing it all out of way getting it all back down again but he didn't want to know like so I'm not particularly bothered anyhow really to be fair uh, uh, so that's end of the original camp bazaar but we're now looking for a woodland to rent between all lot of us and a uh, bit of land to put us vans on obviously we have to see people who's willing to do that uh, and I'll just chip in a year, whatever it is, a year. Um, but like I said, we're not we're not particularly bothered about it anyhow, really, Camp Bazaar. We, we, we do tour about doing different places, Marnham and me and Michelle's down, being down Norfolk for a fortnight, which we'll be doing again this summer, hopefully, fingers crossed, if we get all these injections out of the way. Uh, we can have a little tour around, we're different places we're on about going up towards uh, Flamborough and Bridlington and Scarborough and things like that. So we didn't use Baza that much apart from when we were camping, you know, from tenting, should I say, and hammock camping, that's the only time we really used it. But apart from clearing it all up with vans and that, but anyhow, he's got spat dummy out at pram, so crack on, you know what I mean? That'll just go to rack and ruin because nobody will ever go on it now. Nobody, nobody will ever go on it no more. So, but that's where he wants to be arsy about it, that's fine, let him crack on, you know what I mean? I'm not bothered. So there will be another camp Baza, you know what I mean? It, 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 once we find, place that we're looking for because in Lincolnshire it's apps every farm has woodland every farm near enough has got woodland and spare land and set aside stuff and you know what I mean so we will eventually find another camp buzzer definitely so uh, that's well I've got a load of videos to do today to be honest this is just an intro just uh, set you straight with camp buzzer I just hope we don't lose all my subscribers I know you all subscribe because the camp buzzer you loved it but there will be more we're looking for woodland like I've just said about 10 times so well, there will be more camping hammocking tenting vanning there'll be a lot once we find a suitable spot and right price so 
because uh, one of the lads, I'm not going to mention who it is, offered to buy uh, uh, some woodland uh, outright and, and, and some land like, but it's far too expensive to do it like. But. Right, the other videos, what's up and coming, oh, I'll tell you what else we've got on all while I'm on subject to Baza. We've got, but we're not selling these yet because we've only just got them ourselves. Uh, so probably end of summer, the end of this summer, 2021, I would imagine we'll be starting to sell t-shirts and hoodies, what we've had made. Uh, Camp Baza, uh, what does it say on it now? Camp Baza, camping and vamping. Uh, on, one on t-shirts up breast pocket here and a big one on back on his t-shirts in green like you can have whatever colour you want but we've got green t-shirts uh, and black hoodies which look brilliant with Camp Bazaar on a big logo up back it, it looks really smart and a big thank you to Billy the Hat for that he sorted all them out and Cheryl uh, um, but hopefully the end of summer time if you're interested in buying you know, for a t-shirt and, and hoodie then we'll uh, we'll start and sell them out you know start and distribute them a little bit but uh good quality not crap because i'm you know the size i am like i'm only a size well i don't know what size would you say a large ish <laughs> but uh it fits me absolute mint you know what i mean i think it's is it is it a 4x i think it's a 4xl i've got and it's long enough, it's just past your bum and everything, it's perfect. T-shirts, bit baggy, it's spot on. Yeah, really good quality stuff. Uh, so that's that. I've got now some three, well, not reviews. They're not reviews at all. They're just to look at these three products what I've got. One of them is Helicon Tech's Bushcraft Haversack. That's be a video on that in a few minutes. That's my first one. Second one is right. As I was saying, uh, it's one tigress. This is the ROC Poncho. This is a cracking bit of kit. This is, but they're very, very low on stock. Um, it's a poncho with a hood on it. Poncho liner, should have said, not poncho. Poncho line all on it, hood on it, uh, and it fastens around your middle, clips in, fastens around your back. It's got pockets at front, hood on it, and it's toasty warm. Uh, but I'll show you that in a bit. I'm waffling again, really. And I've also got some new boots. Now, these boots are uh, snow, ice, and mud boots. So, but, and they have liners, but I'll, that's another thing I'll show you in a bit. I keep going on now, don't I? But I think that's about it at the moment. So what we'll do now, I'll turn you off and I'll catch you all in about 20 minutes.